and learn to love thee more. Oh, may God give us a tenderness of affection that we may love God with all our hearts and our neighbor as ourselves. Now the privileges of this renewed heart are these. Tis here the Spirit dwells, tis here that Jesus rests. The soft heart is ready now to receive every spiritual blessing. It is fitted to yield every heavenly fruit to the honor and praise of God. Oh, if we had none but tender hearts to preach to, what blessed work our ministry would be, what happy success, what sowings on earth, what harvest in heaven. We may indeed pray that God may work this change, if it were only that our ministry might be more often a savor of life unto life, and not of death unto death. A soft heart is the best defense against sin, while it is the best preparative for heaven. A tender heart is the best means of watchfulness against evil, while it is also the best means of preparing us for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall shortly descend from heaven. Now my voice fails me, and in your hearts I certainly shall not be heard for my much speaking. Great complaints have been brought against somebody's sermons for being too long, though I hardly think they could have been mine. So let us be brief, and let us conclude. Only we must press this inquiry home. Has God taken away the heart of stone? And has He given you the heart of flesh? Dear friend, you cannot change your own heart. Your outward works will not change it. You may rub as long as ever you like outside of a bottle, but you cannot turn ditch water into wine. You may polish the exterior of your lantern, but it will not give you light until the candle burns within. The gardener may prune a crab tree, but all the pruning in the world won't turn it into an apricot. So you may attend to all the moralities in the world, but these won't change your heart. Polish your shilling, but it will not change into gold, nor will your heart alter its own nature. What then is to be done? Christ is the great heart changer. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Holy Spirit gives faith, and then through faith the nature is renewed. What sayest thou, sinner? Dost thou believe that Christ is able to save thee? Oh, trust him then to save thee, and if thou doest that, thou art saved. Thy nature is renewed, and the work of sanctification which shall begin tonight shall go on until it shall come to its perfection. And thou, born on angels' wings to heaven, glad the summons to obey, shall enter into felicity and holiness, and be redeemed with the saints in white, made spotless through the righteousness of Jesus Christ. This message, The Stony Heart Removed, was preached by Charles Haddon Spurgeon on May 25, 1862. This is Charles Kelsch inviting you to join me again for another message from the Prince of Preachers.